Welcome to lesson 17. In this episode, I want to show you how to use a dummy block with analyzer manufacturing. Uh, let's assume we have a bench top here that has an upstand, and you want to cut a groove on the underside of the bench top. So I've already applied all the power properties. So this one is a, is a machine block for the groove. There's a machine block here. I've already signed uh, an assembly here. So let's put that into analyzer manufacturing. We assign a job number, work order number. We run the geometry script. Now, as you've seen, we have to cut out here, and for the machine block, it created a second program. Now let's export this to analyze the cam. We run the translator script. See, it is run uh, two sets, so there's a second program involved. Now let's let's select the part. So we've got our plywood panel here. And also, we've got our second program. As you can see, it's done two programs now. We're going to cut the cutout out from the top surface and do the groove on the bottom. Now we want to combine this into one process rather than having two operations. Now, since it would be more efficient to run everything in one go because you have to cut out and uh, you don't want to run a second program, turn the panel around and run the second program, you can actually force analyzer manufacturing to run both uh, at once. So actually, Instead of using the primary phase here, we're going to uh, do the machining from the secondary phase, including the cutout in this case. Now, why analyzer manufacturing uh, chosen to use the top phase here is because it's working off the centroid of the assembly. The centroid is basically the, the center of gravity, if you want to call it, um, of the boundary of your assembly here. Now, in our case, the assembly is obviously the size of the bench top in length and depth. And in height, we actually have the upstand here. So the, the, the complete outside of the boundary is the top surface of this upstand. And the and the surface of the bench top is the so that's the outline. So the centroid will automatically be higher than the surface, the top surface of the bench top. Now, analyzer manufacturing is using the centroid to distinguish the faces that have to be machined. So it works from the centroid outwards or downwards or up to find the first available surface. And that will be the primary face of the part. In this case, it will be the top surface of the bench top. Now, the centroid makes perfectly sense for a cupboard situation because most of the time your machining will be done on the inside surfaces of your cupboard. While uh, in this case, it's a slightly a different different thing. But we can force analyzer manufacturing to use the the underside of the bench top as the primary face. So what we can do, we can simply draw a so-called dummy block. Size doesn't matter basically, as long as in our case the height is higher than the upstand. The upstand is 50 millimeters, so we can make this 60. So that means the to work out the centroid for analyzer, we'll use the top surface of the upstand and the under surface of that dummy block and that will bring the centroid down to the uh, past the underside of the bench top. 
So now we have to assign power properties to this dummy block. Go to analyze a cat power properties. We call it dummy. And material, we use dummy as well. And we have to select the appropriate assembly here. And in user 2, we want to write no CNC. This makes sure that we're not going to uh, run the macros for it. We save this. And now the material dummy is automatically excluded in your cutting list, so you don't have to worry about so that it doesn't appear there. Now we can run it to analyze the manufacturing. We select the whole lot, the whole assembly. Call it job number 333. Work on the num. Work order number 42. Now we run the geometry scripts. Now, as you can see, it has um, uh, flipped the panel around and it's working the machine block on the underside of the top and it does the cutout at the same time. Now we're going to export this to analyze a cam. Selecting panel optimizer, select analyzer parts. Going down to our work on number 42. It's our first program here. Continue the optimization. Now here is our optimized program now. As you can see, everything is done in one process. So we have our cutout here and also the uh, the groove on the bottom. So this is now, you can see it's flipped around. It's actually doing the underside of the bench top. And that's what we want all in one process. And that concludes lesson 17. Thank you very much for watching.